welcome to Brussels here in Belgium at night. I'm just walking by the square here. And I only have about a few hours here in Belgium, Brussels to be exact, because I just wanna I'm on the way to a different city here in Europe. And I thought I'd stop by Brussels just to grab some food. And this is the church of St. Mary here, if I'm not mistaken, here in Brussels. There is the cathedral. I think I could be wrong. It's not the cathedral of St. Mary, but it could be. But anyway, let's cross the road here in Brussels. And one thing to watch out for are pickpockets. So while we're walking here, let me share with you a little bit about the history of one of the famous statues, which is the, the mannequin piece. Now, there are many legends here about the story behind America. or the history behind the statue of the mannequin piece. One of the legends is that that the boy whose name is Julian or they call it Petit Julian which translates to Little Julian and there was a war and then I don't know what happened there, but on with my story. So there was a boy named Little Julian. Apparently he saved the city of Brussels from being burnt down because legend says that he pissed on the gunpowder that retreating soldiers are trying to burn down the city of Brussels. We have Bivacqua there, more streets here, cathedral there. Meza, French Italian cuisine, but it's close off now. Yeah, we're about two minutes in here. I'm just gonna film a little bit, keep this video short and simple. Because I'm going as fast as possible to grab some food. And there's a group of people in front here. That they set houses here in Brussels. Sabina shops, shop selling this antique stuff. Now, I've been walking on the streets here, so it kind of reminds me of Turkey and Czech Republic because of the design of the buildings here and the architecture. Now, there was one legend of the mannequin piece. The other legend of the mannequin piece is that the boy named Julian again, he peed at the doorstep of a witch and that the witch cursed him to become a stone. And all these are legend and I'm not sure how true it is but here as I walk along the streets here we have Ibis Hotel Grand Palace Models and weather is here about two degrees three degrees it's cold here Ibis Hotel is here and this is another place and to my right here we have a boutique India boutique and coming up in front of me is the square 
and there's a lot of tourists there on the other side. Taxi. You have to be careful here in Europe, especially. There's a lot of taxi scam. this hotel that I was telling you about but we have shops here selling souvenirs and stuff we have a bar there for you to dine uh, we're just approaching the main square here in front there's people running all over Chocopolis a place where you can buy Belgium chocolates there, right over there. I'm not gonna buy one. Ibis Hotel. So I'm at the square here. And look, there are trees here that has something hanging on them, like balls. And there are many cafes and restaurants here. And this is the fountain. No hotel is there. I think I'm gonna cut across this little market here. It's chilly here, so I'm gonna keep my hats on. It's the streets here. Quick calf. And this is the like the streets here, selling stuff, handphone covers, market. many people but look at all the stuff they're selling here I saw that they're selling wheat as well scarves watches can't really tell if it's authentic but I'm just passing through the shopping mall here I guess here in Brussels selling up boots Selling shirts, sweaters, winter jackets. So I've gone now into the square and on back onto the streets here. So let's continue on with the history of Brussels. Now, Brussels started out in the 10th century, and some historians even say that the city of Brussels started out as early as the 7th century when people started building fort here one of the country one of the empire started building fort here in the city of Brussels as early as the 7th century and then on the 10th century people started settling down here and then the country keep on growing and growing until it becomes one of the heart of the European Union here, the city of Brussels. There are many tourists here. So let me film with you. This is the cathedral here. I'm not sure what cathedral this is, but let's kind of avoid touristy place here. So, people from the River Seine started settling down here as early as the 10th century and some historians dated them as back as the 7th century before the people here started settling down. Alright, I guess that will be all here. Since I'm only here for a short period of time and there are things that I need to do here in Brussels that doesn't allow me to keep on vlogging here. I guess I'll come back here to Brussels, definitely. This wasn't planned, this was just like a stopover here on my way to a different parts of Europe. But from the square here, we have the wonderful 
cathedral behind me here. I'm signing off. See you on my next video. Goodbye. Before I go off, there's another piece of history that I'd like to share with you here that I forgot to mention. And that Brussels originated from the settlements of the River Seine, as well as two nearby hills, or several nearby hills, like some historians would say. And the people here, the settlements of the River Seine, they started settling here in Brussels. And the Grand Palace here, if I'm not mistaken, this is what it is, became like a market whereby back in the day, there used to be people, street vendors, selling stuff all around here. Yeah. Another place here. We have private banking there, it says. Yeah. So that's it, guys, for me. Brussels. And there's a lot of pickpockets here. I'm still in the streets of Brussels here. <laughs> I thought I'd pay him a little bit more. With the ice cream here. In the valley. Back alley, not the valley. Alright.